What's up, y'all? It is still August 5th, 2019. Breaking news, breaking news. The Cowboys finally parted ways with embattled tight end Rico Gathers. Man, you can't really call him a bust because he was a, a six-round draft pick. So you can't really call him a bust. But my God, the guy... The, the hype machine was real on that guy, and he just fell flat on his face. Uh, the guy had some recent troubles a as of late. The, the guy, you know, there's rumors going around saying that his head wasn't really in the game. You know, he's dealing with a lot of psychological issues. You know, of course he, you know, he lacked the heart. Um, when you are 6'6", 6'7", 6'8", whatever he is, I think he's 6'6", and you're almost 300 pounds, you played basketball at Baylor and you were one of the national leaders in rebounds you clearly have the talent and the God-given ability and size to succeed in the NFL you have it you have all the gifts you were the next Antonio Gates you were supposed to be at least but it didn't work out because your head wasn't there you simply didn't have the drive the heart you didn't want to put in the effort to succeed and then on top of that, you still had some looming um, off the field issues. And, and, and the thing is, you know, I, I, of course, I like to look at Cowboys uh, forums so I can uh, understand where uh, the fans are coming from when it comes to big decisions like this. And, you know, you got a couple of uh, fanatics out there saying, we're going to regret this and he's going to go somewhere and ball out. I, I doubt that. Because nowadays, the only time... You really have to worry about a player burning you or lighting it up somewhere else is when he's a superstar and you trade him or you refuse to pay him. When you cut a bum, more than likely they're going to find their way out of the league. It's very far few in between where you cut a bum and he goes somewhere and shines. So I doubt he's going to go somewhere and shine. The thing is we gave him all the opportunities in the world. The, the thing is Jason Witten retired. That was his year to come through. That was his year. So it's not like he never had the opportunity to, to prove himself. We gave him plenty of opportunities. The man, he couldn't block. The guy was a poor route runner. You know, the guy wasn't exactly a, a, a ball magnet. <laughs> it's not like he caught everything that came his way in practice. The guy was a bum. He had all the God-given talent, size, and, and everything that comes with making a great football player, and yet he couldn't put it all together. And then on top of that, he had off-the-field issues. I applaud this move. Uh, the Cowboys are cutting dead weight. Uh, I hope they continue on with this shit. Um, to be quite honest, I don't see him making a practice squad with any other team in the league. Uh, if he does make a team, uh, I'll be very surprised if he does but if he does he's just going to be a bench warmer he's just going to be a reserve he's not really going to do much uh but yeah you guys that's my thoughts on it i'm glad he's gone the bum he was just a waste of a roster spot great waste of talent yeah y'all know how i feel about rico gathers if you don't look at one of my past videos i don't i don't really like the guy you know he let me down i, I thought he could put it all together but he just simply couldn't uh but anyway you guys that's my quick thoughts on that peace